off over here. We got number two. Oh, guys, this is an upgrade. Oh, yeah. Upgrade, baby. <laughs> number four for Nebraska. That little compact jig right there is deadly. Fish on. That's a toad, brother. Golly. What's up, guys? Listen, before we jump into today's video, I got to thank our sponsor, Shimano, for making this video possible. Listen, you guys have heard me talk about Shimano now for years, and everybody knows that Shimano makes the best rods in the world and the best reels in the world, and they have the greatest selection. But, man, I'm going to tell you what. They're coming into the game strong with this new boost concept of lures as well. So check out Shimano's awesome line of products for everything you already know about but check out these boost concept lures like the new arma joint and the world pop and some of the other amazing lures that they're bringing to the table by taking the boost concept and creating what shimano is known for high quality technologically advanced products check out the new boost concept series of lures from shimano all right guys welcome to today's video i am in nebraska Fishing with the Nebraska kayak angler for a little Tuesday night throwdown. Three fish limit, but I'm also fishing against the clock to catch my 22 fish in the state of Iowa and Nebraska. Tonight's going to count towards Iowa, and then tomorrow, or actually whenever I finish up Iowa, I'll switch over and focus on Nebraska, then Kansas, then Illinois to make my way back home. So let's get it. All right, I have the camera off. Pitch the jig up in the drop and got a fish. So we are on the board, ladies and gentlemen. Whoa. And I think we might have ourselves a little spot right here that nobody else is gonna mess with. So we can work this out for the rest of the day. I don't know. Strike King Bitsy Bug with a Z-Man Boar's Hog. Boar Hogs. As the trailer. Look at that joker right there. <laughs> Alright, we got one fish on the board. It's a three fish tournament for four hours. Well, three and a half hours. Let's see if we can get two more. Dang it, I thought I had the camera running. I pitched under that dock over there and got number two. <sighs> okay, sun's going down. Everything's starting to heat up. One more fish and we're on the board at least to get counted. Fishing a little kayak, Nebraska kayak anglers, Tuesday night, little uh, league vit, league event. And uh, it's a three fish deal and I got two, and this is also my first two for Nebraska. So let's get this guy measured and we'll get him back in the water. And he cut the crap out of me. And dang it, another pitch of jig up in a hole. Had no camera running. Golly. Maybe the camera running's been my jinx. I'm just kidding. That's number three. He's not real big, but uh, he flat smoked that Strike King Bitsy Bug. I switched from the Boar Hogs trailer to a toad, a billy goat that I cut in half. That way it had a little bit more swim and lift to it. I'll show it to you in just a second. Let me get this fish measured and get it back in the water. All right, guys, let me show you what I'm fishing. This is a big time summer bait for me. This is a Strike King Bitsy Bug. I trim the weed guard down doors just even with the tip. And I always make sure it's fanned out nicely. Otherwise it acts like a fish guard instead of just a weed guard. And what I did is I took a Z-Man uh, Billy Goat and I just cut it down to where it matched the length of the hook cut a big chunk of it off and what that does is that lets those legs stick right out below that skirt I can swim it hop it but also when it sits on the bottom it stands up and those legs it stands up like that and those legs stick straight up kind of move around on you like so like that actually just upside down and uh, you just kind of move around a lot and fish hit it moving when it first hits the water they hit it hopped and pop they hit it sitting dead still so we're gonna see if we can't catch a couple more. What's also nice about those legs like that is when you're throwing it over the top of pads, when you're scooting it across the top of the pad and you drop it into a hole, it just kind of flutters down. It swims this way to the bottom. 
a lot of times it just gets hit on its way to the bottom really like this setup especially late winter early spring and into sun, early summer when you get into the later part of the summer i like to actually go bigger because they're looking for a bigger meal because their digestion their digestive system is moving faster and uh yeah i just like to go bigger as it gets further into the season but early on and especially if i'm skipping into tight little spots those smaller compact baits work really well i mean big baits work too but oh guys this is an upgrade oh yeah upgrade baby let's get the net for this guy hold on right there right there yeah we got a little upgrade all right austin i'll call you back later tonight all right, later. All right love you bye all right i was talking to my son got a little upgrade not a big one but a little upgrade oh let me turn this thing on motor off before i run into my spot netted that guy because i didn't know exactly how good i had him hooked he was coming at me i was going at him this will be number four for nebraska in the catch 22 challenge find them a groove a little bit guys um but man that oh that small compact jig early summer like we've got going on right now water temperature is just getting into the 80s uh throwing it up against the rocks letting it hit the bottom letting it set for about a four count and then slow swimming it out of there and they're hitting it on the fall they're hitting it sitting still they're hitting it swimming they're hitting it everywhere in the beginning so that little compact jig right there is deadly this time of year let's get a photo of this guy all right we're gonna get that guy back in the water and see if we can't get another little upgrade every inch counts well actually every quarter inch counts one more time i am throwing this bitsy bug green pumpkin with a little green glitter in it and i took the z-man billy goat the full size one and cut it down to match to where it's right at the transition of that hook and that gives it plenty of action again i always cut my weed guard off about an eighth of an inch above the hook guard spread it out nice that comes through everything and i still get really good hook sets let's get back in here in the juice one more time and then we'll make a lap through those rocks again and by then if we can get two more upgrades we should be sitting pretty for the evening all right guys got about 10 minutes of fishing time left the sun is going down below the horizon and uh appreciate you guys watching today's video the basic takeaway from this is is uh drop down to a compact jig in the early summer experiment with your trailers fish it on rock and wood and i think you'll find a lot of success i'll see you on the next one. Oh, and wind wind is your key finding wind blown lines wind coming around points like we've got right here where it sets up either an eddy line or a mud line or a current break that's one of the places fish set up a lot and a jig is deadly because it'll fall down through that current and get to where they're staying get to where they're holding God, i saw these rocks near the boat ramp figured i'd go over there and make a couple more casts oh another fish <laughs> Let's see if this one will give me a little bit of an upgrade. All right, guys, and with that, we'll see y'all in the next video. All right, guys, so for my first day in Nebraska, I hooked up with the folks from Central State Kayak Series and my buddy Nate Gloria, and I had a great time fishing their little Tuesday night throwdown event. It was a good time. I caught some fish, but I needed to catch numbers. So I got some intel from Nate on a cool little lake in the middle of town where I could get numbers. So I switched up my tackle, I downsized, and I started focusing on numbers because I really needed to finish the Catch-22 Challenge. So here's day two of the Catch-22 Challenge, Nebraska. One down. to go. Uh -huh. oh. Oh. That was a big old pike. Holy crap.
Well guys, I'll just be straight up with you. I'm getting what I'm after, which is to drop down to the Minimax chatterbait and catch numbers. And so I got about three hours till dark. And if I just keep catching fish like this, I'll make my goal. Mama always said, don't talk with your mouth full. Number six, they ain't big, but we're getting the job done. And that mini chatterbait, ooh, 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 is the ticket right now. It's the only thing with this wind and this grass and I'm able to get fish to eat. The wind's blowing real hard, making a finesse presentation almost impossible. A lot of grass on the bottom and uh, I did catch one on a Booyah Pond Magic Spinnerbait. And then other than that, it's been tough. This wind, this wind, this wind. We're gonna keep grinding, keep chipping away at it. Keep chipping away. All right, there's another one. Guys, there is really not been any kind of pattern. Some are on the rocks, some are on the wood, some are in potholes in the middle of the grass. It's tough. Tough, 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 tough. Haven't been able to catch anything on this gorgeous looking foot of timber. There just doesn't seem to be a pattern that I can get going there. All right, guys, it has been a tough, tough day. The wind has been brutal and I decided to switch things up and I didn't record all of them but I decided to switch them oh my goodness he took my blade dang it well I switched it up and went to the pond magic and I caught like six or eight fish real quick uh, a couple of which are my personal least I literally just caught the smallest bass I've ever caught on an artificial lure at five and a half inches and uh, yeah I am at the point now where I'm not as interested in anything other than getting the checks in the box so I can get on the road. I'm kind of burnt a little bit and I uh, want to get home and get some stuff organized and get set up and just spend some time in Alabama filming and uh, yeah and then get on the plan for finishing out this thing strong. Once my son goes full time we'll be able to film it more adequately. And uh, so I'll just kind of do like a, a joint filming of everything that's happened so far as like a recap. And then we'll film the rest of the Catch-22 Challenge, uh, more vlog documentary style. So at least that's where I'm thinking right now. Um, gonna forego Kansas tomorrow because a buddy of mine's busy and it's a little out of the way. Gonna head straight across to Illinois and go fishing with Duke from Catch. Catch is the company that makes the measuring boards that I use and they also make the trophies for the kayak bass fishing tournament series. Been wanting to fish with Duke for a long time and I've been wanting to fish this particular place in Illinois for a long time. So this is kind of the stars aligning for that but we're gonna skip Iowa. Uh, ended up not with not enough time with the wind kind of blowing both places out uh, and Kansas and just roll on down over to Illinois and then uh, head home from there and then I'll get back on the road and knock out uh, Indiana as part of a Maryland, West Virginia, um, Pennsylvania, Ohio, Indiana loop coming back home from there. So anyway, appreciate you guys watching. I know that this is not the most exciting stuff, but I'm going to show you guys some lures that if you just have to catch them, and you're fishing in a tournament and you just need one more fish, you could do it. Or if you're taking a kid fishing or if you just want to catch a fish because it's been a rough day these uh ned rigs and ned rig uh, te uh teasers and the old uh booyah pond magic and then this one right here is the strike king red eye mini max um all put fish in the boat when you absolutely have to catch them and you can still catch a monster because even though big fish eat big baits elephants also eat peanuts